everyone, this is Coach D, and today I'm excited. Man, I've got the new gear going. Check this logo out, man. Be an encourager, Coach D. This is brand new, fresh. So, we have a new drill for you today. I love this. Every Friday is Flag Football Friday. If you are subscribing, you get early access. So, if you're not subscribed, make sure you go to okay, Flag Football with Coach D.com. Check that out. Become a subscriber. Boom. Also, subscribe here on YouTube. Let's get to the drill. Today, we're working on the catch and cut. Look, so many times when we catch the ball, a lot of times we'll either run without securing it, right? We get the incomplete or we fumble, whatever, or we don't get yards after the catch. We catch it and then we kind of like dance around. Well, we need to make sure that we get a process of catching the ball correctly. We know that from other videos and then tucking it. We'll talk about that and then cutting up the field. So we'll show you how to cut up the field. So let's set this up and then I'll give you a couple principles before we get started. So what I've done here is I've got a nice little field set up at the very top. I have a quarterback station. Got a couple balls here. And then on either side, I've got my wide receivers. They're about five, seven yards out, okay? The reason why I like to have two stations going is so I don't have a lot of kids just standing around. I want rapid, you know this, rapid reps going. So after one finishes, the next line goes, and then the next side, and then the next side. Another reason I like to have both sides is when I'm catching, Right? I can't just catch on this side and that's it. I want to be able to catch on this side as well. So I want to become strong on both sides. So let's make sure we do that, right? So I've got both of those set up. Running or uh, wide receivers set up here. A line of wide here, line of wide there. Now, where they're running to is this point right here. This is our catch point. We call it the catch point. This is about five yards away from the quarterback. Okay, and so what we're doing is we're doing quick slants. We're gonna run this quick slant route, right? Or a quick slant route this way, and then check this out. Right after they catch the ball, what I want them to do is secure it, right? Tuck it is what we call. So the way that I tuck the ball, let's say I catch the ball here, right? I've got my diamond. Boom, I catch it. Immediately I'm going to tuck it in between, right here right in between my elbow socket, right? And I've got my pointer finger up top, right? That helps me secure the ball. Boom, I've got it, I'm ready to go. Now I can run, because a lot of times what happens is I'll catch the ball and then I'll start running or I'll take my eye off the ball. No, I need to secure it first. So now I've got it secured. Now what we're gonna do, after I catch the ball, I'm gonna run to this cone and I'm gonna cut across the field to this cone. And then I'm gonna cut across the field to that cone. And then I'm done. And then I switch sides, right? Every time you switch sides. Now, the coach at the very beginning could be, right, the quarterback. If you'd like to try out your quarterback a couple times, you wanna get that going, that's okay. Another thing I like to do is I like to put parents, right, on these cones, acting as if they're gonna get the flag. And I'll show you what that looks like. So let's run it and I'll come back and we'll check. Quarterback is here. We got that. Ready, go. Running. I catch the ball here. I catch the ball and I tuck it right here. Then I hit this cone, cut. Then I come across to this cone, I cut. I come across to this cone, cut, and I'm done. A couple things. When I'm cutting, I want to make sure that my foot, my outside foot, lands close to that, right? Imagine it's like out of bounds. Well, there's somebody there. Well, I want to boom. And the reason I'm cutting like this is it throws the, the defender off. If I cut like this, they're going that way, right? And I'm going the opposite way. So make sure that foot is planted heavily. Boom. So I cut, right? And I move. So that's big. So you see how that works? 
So then I switch to the other side. Now let me show you what happens on the other side. Ready, go. Catch the ball here. Tuck it. Boom. And now I'm going back this way. So you can see that I'm going half speed or even walking through it first. It's a major principle of mine. I like to walk things through first. Make sure I get the right form first and then I go half speed. And then after half speed, I go full speed. All right, let me show you what full speed would look like on both sides. It's gonna look a little silly, but I think you'll get it. Ready, go. Whoo, that's one side. It also helps endurance, look at that already worn out, right? Another thing you'll notice, check this out. When I'm cutting and I don't have my cleats on today, you'll see that I'll slide, I'll slip. So it also shows kids, parents, it's important to have cleats. See how sloppy that was? Sloppy. So what I like to do in those moments, when it's sloppy, like right up here, when I'm coming across, I don't want, so let's say I'm going across here and I'm catching it here, they shouldn't be stopping here. All right, it's not like this. Stop, wait for the ball. There's no stopping here. On a quick slant, it is you catch it while you're running. So another key is to get your quarterbacks out here and they're now throwing and leading this receiver to make sure that they're doing it in stride. In stride, right? So if I'm over here, let's say I'm running a quick slant out here. Doom, 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 boom. I keep running, right? Huge. And why do I do that? because I don't want my flags to be pulled. It's as simple as that, right? If I, if I catch the ball and keep running, boom, and if somebody's on me, they'll be so focused on, did I catch the ball and I'm gone, okay? Now, another thing we can do with this, we really wanna take it to the next level, is we want to teach them to run up the seam run up the scene. So find the sideline. So my next level of this drill, let's set it up right now, why not? Is to identify, let's say a lane, right? So watch, this is how I'm gonna do it right now. I keep that, but now I'm gonna create a lane because I want them to identify a lane after they catch that ball so they win the sideline. You'll hear me say that a lot in my videos. I want them to win this sideline because a lot of times you'll see, once they catch it, if they can get the sideline. Let's say this is the out of bounds sideline right here. If they can get this little lane and they beat the, the defense, they're gone, they're gone. So let's look at that. Let me show you on the other side. We're doing it. Woo. See, I come up with all this stuff so you don't have to. Here you go. So now I'm looking for the scene. Right? I found that lane. I found that lane. Let's find it on the other side. There you go. 
Again, don't stop. Don't stop running, okay? So the quarterback needs to throw it to where they're going to be, lead that receiver. They catch the ball, they tuck it, and then they find their, their lane. They find their lane. Now, oh man, if I really want to get crazy, then I start throwing a defender in, right? I throw a defender in here, and now they are one-on-one -on, -one on this sideline. One-on-one -on, -one on this sideline. Now you see you're incorporating all the different skills, all the different sections within one drill. Look, this was the catch and cut, but now we've evolved it into a lot of great things. So take your drills and learn how to massage them a little bit and turn them into, all right, what are some other skills that I think would be beneficial that align with this skill that we're building right now? Catching, and then after the catch, what do I do? Either so I way, you can turn this drill into something awesome for your team. Look, you gotta get some. You know how it is. Look, this is Coach D. If you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe, comment, throw a comment in there for goodness sake, and then share and like this. Now, we have playbooks at flagfootballwithcoachd.com. You can get my full playbook that has 120 plays, or you can get an age-based customized playbook. So let's say you're working with fourth, fifth graders. Well, boom, I give you 24 plays for that age group, and I give you eight, think about this, eight practice schedules, so all you have to do is send it to your other quote coach, you guys walk out on the field and you just follow step by step. Those come with videos that walk you through every single thing. Look, this is Coach D, we'll see you in the next video. And we are also on all other social media platforms. We are doing it this year. So make sure you're following us, liking, commenting all across the board. We are encouraging greatness all day, every day. We'll see you next time.